France Nyan, known for her notable contributions to the entertainment industry, has left an indelible mark through various roles in film and television. While pinpointing a single work that defined her career might be challenging due to her diverse repertoire, one of the significant milestones was her portrayal in the Joy Luck Club, where her performance resonated with audiences and critics alike. Nyan's talent and dedication shone through her nuanced portrayal, showcasing her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters. As for personal impact, Nyan's work serves as a testament to perseverance and dedication in the face of challenges. Her commitment to her craft and the authenticity she brought to each role inspires many aspiring actors and enthusiasts, myself included, to pursue their passions with unwavering determination. Reflecting on cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor, many might have stories that encapsulate the essence of her contributions to the entertainment world. We invite you to share your anecdotes and recollections about France Nyan in the comments below. Your stories help keep the legacy and impact of talented artists like her alive. Share your memories and let's celebrate France Nyan's enduring influence together. France Nyan, an actress known for her Vietnamese-French heritage, rose to fame in the early 1960s. Her career intersected with Hollywood, including a brief affair with Marlon Brando during that time. Nyan's background is rooted in a unique blend of culture as born to a French mother and Vietnamese father. She was raised in Marseille. Her family history carries the weight of World War II, as she claims persecution by the Germans due to her mother and grandfather being identified as gypsies. These experiences likely influenced her worldview and possibly her artistic endeavors. Nyan's life and career reflect a fascinating intersection of heritage, personal history, and Hollywood intrigue. France Nyan, a versatile talent in both acting, in psychology, transitioned from her successful acting career in Hollywood to pursue a master's in clinical psychology. Since 1986, she's dedicated herself to family practice counseling, specializing in supporting abused children, battered women, and incarcerated women. Her commitment to this field earned her the 1989 Woman of the Year Award in Los Angeles for her impactful work as a consulting psychologist. Notably, she was married twice, her second marriage being to Robert Culp, whom she met while working on the television series I Spy in 1965. Prior to this, her first marriage was to a psychiatrist, with whom she had a daughter named Fleur Morrill. Nyan's multifaceted life journey from Hollywood to psychology reflects her unwavering dedication to making a difference in the lives of those in need. France Nyan, known for her versatile talents, made a significant mark in American television history. Her portrayal in the third season episode Elan of Troyes as the demanding princess, the Dolmen of Ellas, remains a notable point in popular culture. Additionally, she possibly holds the distinction of being the first person of Vietnamese descent to grace American television screens. While her career spanned various roles, one standout achievement includes her appearance in the Joy Luck Club, a film recognized by the National Film Registry for its cultural significance. These milestones in her career reflect her impact on both television and film, paving the way for greater representation in the entertainment industry. France Nyan's legacy remains intertwined with her groundbreaking contributions to American television and film, marking her as a trailblazer in representation and performance. France Nyan, known for her impactful roles, encountered a notable incident during the promotion of the Joy Luck Club. She voiced dissatisfaction, alleging that her best scene was deleted, and all known actresses were removed from advertising to solely spotlight Amy Tan, drawing attention solely to her. This incident stirred controversy around the film's promotion, showcasing Nyan's firm stance on her contributions. However, her absence from the 50th anniversary celebration of South Pacific contrasts this, despite her significant role as Lyot in the classic. These instances shed light on the complexities within the film industry and the recognition of actors' contributions. France Nyan's career, marked by impactful performances, reveals both moments of contention and acknowledgement within the cinematic realm. Ex-stepmother to several notable individuals, the actress known for her Vietnamese-French heritage currently resides in Beverly Hills, California, practicing as a psychological counselor. 
Her journey from Hollywood to psychology reflects a multifaceted life devoted to aiding abused children, battered women, and incarcerated women. Notably, she transitioned from a successful acting career to earn recognition as the 1989 Woman of the Year in Los Angeles for her impactful work. Despite her contributions, she encountered controversies, notably expressing dissatisfaction over her portrayal in the Joy Luck Club and her absence from the anniversary celebration of South Pacific. France Nyan's life, marked by impactful performances, reveals the complexities within the cinematic realm, reflecting both moments of contention and acknowledgement in her career. Embracing the challenge, France Nyan's transformation from diagnosis to advocacy. In Hollywood, amidst the glitz of Hollywood, France Nyan faced an unexpected challenge. Diagnosed with a chronic condition, she embarked on a journey, not of retreat, but of advocacy. Her transformative path began within the industry itself. Instead of concealing her condition, she chose to use her platform to raise awareness. Nyan's shift from roles on screen to advocating for health issues mirrored her personal evolution. She didn't let the diagnosis dictate her life. Rather, she chose to redefine her narrative. Her advocacy work within Hollywood brought attention to the needs of individuals facing similar health battles. From a prominent actress to a vocal advocate, Nyan's journey resonates as a tale of empowerment. Her story underscores the resilience and determination required to navigate life's unexpected challenges, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood's landscape. Fading reels, the tragic collapse of iconic studios, and its effect on France Nyan and vintage Hollywood. Amidst the grandeur of vintage Hollywood, the collapse of iconic studios cast a shadow on many stars, including one whose journey mirrored the industry's highs and lows. France Nyan, a prominent figure, found herself navigating the tumultuous aftermath of these collapses. As studios crumbled under financial strain and changing audience tastes, Nyan's career trajectory shifted. The repercussions were profound, reshaping her roles and opportunities within an industry undergoing seismic changes. The demise of these legendary studios not only altered the landscape of Hollywood but also had a tangible impact on Nyan's career. The dwindling resources and opportunities affected her presence on screen and the type of roles she could secure. The fading reels of iconic studios paralleled the fading prominence of certain stars and Nyan wasn't immune to these industry shifts. The legacy left by these studio collapses created a ripple effect that touched the careers of many actors, Nyan included. Her story within this era of Hollywood encapsulates the struggles faced by those navigating the fallout of studio collapses, underscoring the challenges and adaptations demanded of stars in the face of industry transformation. As we wrap up this exploration of actress France Nyan's captivating journey through entertainment, take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with her artistry. Perhaps her performances in South Pacific or the Joy Luck Club resonated deeply, evoking emotions or memories unique to you. This is your invitation to share those cherished moments, those thoughts that linger long after the screen fades. Actress France Nyan, with her grace and talent, etched herself into the tapestry of entertainment. Her portrayals were more than mere roles, they were windows into humanity, stirring conversations and leaving indelible imprints on our hearts. Your recollections, your perspectives, they add hues to the canvas of her legacy. Your voice, joining others in celebrating her brilliance, honors the impact she had on the world of performance art. In homage to actress France Nyan, let's weave our collective memories and admiration for her craft, acknowledging the richness she brought to the realm of entertainment. Your reflections are a tribute to her enduring influence and a testament to the power of her performances. Thank you for sharing in this ode to an exceptional artist. Your participation enriches the narrative of her legacy, keeping her artistry alive in our shared consciousness. Gratefully acknowledging actress France Nyan's profound impact on entertainment and appreciating your time and interest.